I think the thing I like about golf the most is how rewarding it is. In my opinion, there's no other sport that just gives off that feeling like after you have a personal best round of golf or like rolling off a string of five birdies or something like that just like really gets you pumped up. 187 mile an hour ball speed and can putt and can <laughs> laser irons. He's, he's might be one of the best I've ever seen. I think I was two and I like hit my first golf ball, but I've always had like plastic club since I was born pretty much, but I didn't really start playing competitively, like seriously until I was like 11 or 12. I think the first time I actually saw Harrison uh, swing a golf club, his two older sisters was actually on the on the golf team. Their dad would uh, would come pick them up and occasionally he would bring Harrison with him. And Harrison would, would hit balls on the range while he was waiting on his sisters to finish practice. He was probably in elementary school at the time. And it's kind of like, wow, that, that, kid's, that kid can swing the golf club. The main thing I taught him was when he was a little tiny dude, I, said, I taught him how to grip it. And I said, don't let anybody ever change that. And then I said, uh, Hit it as hard as you can, but don't fall down because golfers don't fall down. And now he's got 186 mile an hour ball speed at 15. The main like pressure is just really yourself. Because if you're working like super hard and playing bad, it's really just like, do I still just want to do this? Golf can beat you up internally, mentally. Even when you're playing for a team, you're still out there on an island by yourself. Having that self-belief that's so high it appears to be cocky, I think it helps you uh, when you're in competition. I think it also helps you when you, when you struggle a bit because you're going to struggle. It's not if, it's a matter of when. So you can manage your emotions because you can, you can kind of lose it emotionally you have to learn how to score. I mean, practicing helps, but like you have to learn how to score in your brain and learn how to put together a round. I would say his golf IQ is over the chart, way ahead of his chronological age. He, he might be a freshman in high school now, but he thinks much older than that when he's playing golf. He's a good manager of his game on the golf course. He understands his golf swing more than most, especially at his age. He's been in competition forever. It's kind of hard to believe that he's only a freshman, uh, but the reality of it is um, he is, uh, but, but he plays well beyond his years. My high school coach likes to like make us play super passive. Is it a benefit for him to have that that self-belief or your term confidence, sure it does. It's less of a burden than it is a benefit long-term. I've seen it grow with his chronological age. So his golf, his mechanics have always been off the chart. Mentally, he is moving to an area that is incredible and that's all, that's all gonna help him out. My coaches kind of just leave me alone now because they've gotten to know that my train of thought has nothing to do with them and they can't change it even if they try. So they kind of just leave me alone. And my dad's kind of the same way too. Like he'll just leave me alone while I'm playing. So really it's just all between my two ears. I mean, think about it. He's 15 and he's had two hole in ones in competition and he's had three total, but two in competition. I've never even had one. I've been a pro since I was 21. Mentally, he, he plugs in. Uh, his work ethic is incredible. I think he has the ability to continue to work and push for whatever he wants to do. Hopefully, 
I can win a couple big tournaments in South Carolina and qualify for the U.S. Junior and hopefully make it as far as I possibly can in that. And then the end goal is really just make it pro, whether what tour it might be, just make it pro.